This Riveter Reef Strike Zone fishing tip is brought to you by prestigefishing.com.au. Custom wind on leaders, shark traces, and rigs. In fishing, your knots is probably one of your most important parts, and yet it lets most anglers down. So, what we're going to do is show you the plat, which is essential for game fishermen. It's really simple. Basically, have pressure on your main line like that, have your tag and your finger, put the tag against the main line, like so. Put your thumb down on it, lock it in, and then grab the tag and fold it into the center. So it sits like so. Then, it's the same as plaiting a girl's hair. Not that a lot of us fishers do that. The top one comes down into the center, like so. So see how, if I can hold that, it goes to there. Now, this will lock over by pulling those two tight, like so. Then, because this is your top one, this one comes to the center. Use your thumb to help lock it in. Again, outside in, that one's at the top, so it goes to the center. Still using your thumb to lock it in. Now I'm starting to put more pressure on it now. Outside, coming in. And again, outside, coming in. Outside, coming in. In between planes flying over the top. Outside, coming in. Outside coming in. Outside coming in. Outside coming in. And you can see there, she's coming down nicely. So what we do is, the length of your plait really varies. Uh, some of them call it 49, but basically I plait it down until I get tired of doing it, to be totally honest with you. So but for this one, we'll keep it nice and short. So say down to around there. See how quick you get it, that you're just wrapping it the same time you got pressure on it. Bring it down to about there. And then if I get Theo to hold this one for me. Now what we do to finish it off, well I've got Theo pulling on the two main lines. I've got the tag which is high. Tag goes into the centre, like that. And then putting my thumb and forefinger there, I then, Theo pulls tight on the main line. I just do a half hitch. So just wrap it round one side, just pull tight on that there, and then pull tight there. So see, you can see I've locked it off. Now then, I do the same thing on the other side. This is all I do. A lot of guys finish them off differently, but this is the one that's worked for me. So there's no set way. So I do two half hitches, again, on the other side there, pull tight on that. Now, to finish this off, that's not neat for me. What I do is I get the tag, and I wrap the tag back up the main line, like so, to about there. Then I pin it with my thumb and forefinger against that. Now the trick is, I now unwrap it. What I'm basically doing is putting another knot that goes to the back end, so the plate is now working against this sort of knot that I've formed. And usually I Here's my teeth, which are great for your dentist, keeps them employed. I start feeding this back up, like so. Being mono, a little bit of lube on it like so, and then just feed it back up. Same time Theo's down there doing that, and then pull tight on that. That's it. Beautiful. What I've got now is a knot that'll run both ways. She's a little bit rough, but your plait works perfectly, and the finishing knot there will hold it off, let it run through your guides, and give you a perfect double, which is great for adding on to wind-on leaders, which we'll show you next week.